This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI Learning's 80% completion rate is 50% higher than the training industry average. Invest in your team with the best training they're sure to love. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. Based on your team's size, you'll receive a properly quoted discount tailored to your needs. So, last Thursday, the Hacker One bug bounty folks oh yeah took the occasion yeah we saw this stuff. yeah really good stuff. they're neat people took the occasion of their total bounty payouts crossing the 300 million dollar mark wow. yeah to provide some insights into the current state of their operations um i've edited it down a bit but there's some interesting stuff in here so just to be clear in the following text when they refer to their customers they mean organizations who pay bounties to have their bugs found in their own code. And, of course, when they refer to hackers, those are the freelance agents who are the finder of those bugs. So HackerOne said, HackerOne today announced its ethical hacker community has surpassed 300 million in total all-time rewards on the HackerOne platform. <clears throat> and... 30 hackers have also earned more than $1 million on the platform, with one hacker surpassing $4 million in total earnings. So, yeah, it's possible to have a career. And hackers are finding new opportunities to earn more by diversifying their skill sets as emerging technology reshapes the threat landscape. 55% of hackers surveyed, and they surveyed 2,000 of their hackers, expect that Generative AI will become a top target in the future. Crypto and blockchain organizations continue to see strong program engagement, offering the highest average overall rewards for hackers, including the award of this year's top payout of $100,050. HackerOne's customers have also expanded how they commission hackers outside of traditional bug bounties with pen testing engagements increasing by 54% on the platform this year in 2023. So they have some bullet points. Hackers continue to experiment with generative AI as 61% of hackers said they will use and develop hacking tools from Gen AI to find more vulnerabilities and another 62% of hackers plan to specialize in the OWASP top 10 for large language models. Hackers also said they plan to use Gen AI to write better reports, 66 said that, or code, 53 said that, and reduce language barriers. That was a third of the, of the people. Hackers report insufficient in-house talent, meaning on part of, of Hacker One's customers, hackers report insufficient in house talent and expertise as the top challenge for organizations, which is a gap they're filling. 70% of customers stated that hacker efforts have helped them avoid a significant cyber event. 57% of Hacker One customers believe exploited vulnerabilities are the greatest threat to their organizations over phishing at 22%, insider threats at 12%, and nation state actors at 10%. Customers are getting faster at fixing vulnerabilities as the average platform-wide remediation time dropped by 10 days in 2022. Okay, now I didn't see the report because I had to go through a bunch of hoops to get it and it didn't seem necessary, but I would like to know dropped from what to what by 10 days you know did it drop from 20 days to 10 in which case it was in half or from 100 to 90 to me it makes a difference but anyway you know the, their summary didn't say they said interestingly automotive media entertainment and government verticals saw the biggest decrease in time to remediation with an over 50 percent improvement okay so those those industry groups, automotive, media, entertainment, and government, are were in this most recent update much faster to jump on trouble and fix them. And finally, organizations are reducing costs by embracing human-centered security testing, 
earlier in their software development life cycles, with customers saving an estimated $18,000 from security experts reviewing their code before it's released rather than afterwards. So Chris Evans, HackerOne's CISO and chief hacking officer, was quoted saying, quote, organizations are under pressure to adopt generative AI to stay ahead of competitors, which in turn is transforming the threat landscape. If you want to remain proactive about new threats, you need to learn from the experts in the trenches. Hackers. So anyway, that annual hacker-powered security report is based on data from HackerOne's vulnerability database and gathered the views from both HackerOne customers and more than 2,000 hackers who were interviewed on the platform. Um, and to me, it seems that I guess it's not surprising, but maybe only in how quick it's happened. An, an interesting takeaway that mistakes are bound to be made in the rush to get new generative AI solutions rolled out and, you know, in the world, which did seem to happen pretty quickly. So getting up to speed on AI technology appears to be on everyone's radar. You know, no doubt the bad guys and also the white hat hacker good guys who are going to help companies to solve their problems before they get exploited. 